Elizabeth Mountbatten Windsor accompanied her parents Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to the UK this year for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, and over the weekend she celebrated her first birthday. But have the Sussexes ticked off another milestone, their daughter's christening, yet? Royal christenings traditionally follow a few months after the birth of every royal baby, and usually members of the royal family will gather for the special occasion. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's son Archie was christened in 2019 while his parents were still living in the UK full-time, and a sweet picture was released of Harry and Meghan cradling their bundle of joy while he was dressed in the traditional royal christening gown. Harry and Meghan now have a second child, a daughter named Lilibet after the Queen, who was born last June. There has been no official confirmation that baby Lilibet has been christened yet, either in the UK or the US. Reports have indicated Harry and Meghan might wish for their daughter to be christened in the US. Some were hopeful Lilibet could have been christened during her visit to the UK for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee this month. But the four-day weekend was jam-packed with royal events. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle appeared alongside the royal family for the first time in two years at some of the fixtures, and the Duke and Duchess were spotted watching Trooping the Colour from Horse Guards Parade. The Sussexes also made a higher-profile appearance at St. Paul's Cathedral to attend a service of thanksgiving for the Queen's 70 years on the throne. Lilibet and Archie weren't seen in public during the jubilations, but it is thought Lilibet was finally introduced to her great-grandmother, the Queen. And while a christening might not have taken place, the Sussexes still had cause to celebrate as it was Lilibet's first birthday on June 4. Friends and family are thought to have gathered at Harry and Meghan's UK residence of Frogmore Cottage in Windsor to celebrate the little one's milestone, and the Sussexes shared an adorable snap of Lily smiling on her big day. If Lilibet is christened in the UK at a later date, there are a whole host of traditions that may be implemented for the special ceremony. Young Lilibet, who turned one over the Jubilee weekend, celebrated with a gathering at Frogmore Cottage. Lilibet Diana's similarities with her mother Meghan Markle have been pointed out by royal fans, with many saying the pair look like twins. One Twitter user shared side-by-side -side pictures of Meghan at age one and her daughter Lilibet. Mandy Brown, at Mandy Brown, wrote, Ort wins. A second user, at Eve Evans Shine 2, agreed, writing, You're right, other than Harry's red hair she looks like Meghan. She won this round. Maya B. Atlantis Corpinchai Pessa, added, or. I've never seen that pic of Meghan and Doria. Thanks, for sharing. M definitely wins this round. Another, at Dread 1300, wrote, twinning, while Holy Moly 24, at Holy Moly 24, said, like I said she looks like Meghan. But she added, the skin and hair color is Harry. Same with Archie. Experts issue major revelation regarding Meghan Markle's stay in the royal family and warn she had no intention of living in the UK from the very day they wed. This revelation has been made by royal biographer Howard Hodgson, in her interview. She was quoted saying, I'm sure Diana just genuinely did not understand that being a princess is a horrible thing. You can't go to the loo without having someone standing outside the door. You do the same things every day on the same dates every year for the rest of your life and you have to be polite to everybody all the time. So I think she found out quite quickly that this is not Cinderella. But I think Meghan knew that the whole time and she just had no intention of staying.